well, this is uh, basically a, a word problem. <laughs> and I think I've said this before that most challenge people have with the physics is that a lot of physics questions basically look like word questions in your math class and um, word questions are, you know, most people know how to do uh, integration, differentiation, calculating this and that once you are given what to calculate. The difficult thing is figuring out what to cal figuring out uh, what to calculate. And, um, and that's the difficult step that people have to go through in working through any word problem. And this is an example of this. So let me do that here. So the question is asking for a force needed to bring um, some mass of car to rest from uh, some initial speed in a distance of um, some displacement. And there are different ways to approach this question. I think you can certainly approach this as a kinematics question, as in um, you can use, you can figure out, okay, what acceleration do I need and multiply that to the mass to get the force. Um, that's certainly a lot and certainly possible. You just use the V-squared formula and <laughs> you'll be done. Uh, let me just use a slightly different conceptual approach. So um, let me lay out this picture here. You have a car that's uh, moving at some speed. And so that's uh, the kind of initial setup of the car. And after be having a force applied on it over some distance, the car is coming to a stop. And when you compare where you started with where you are ending, you can, um, I hope you can see the difference in kinetic energy, the new quantity we introduced in this chapter. So initially the car has kinetic energy of one half mv naught squared and somehow the final kinetic energy that the car has is zero. So the car has undergone a change of energy. And as you see uh, stated in work kinetic energy theorem, when we see a difference in kinetic energy, we attribute that to a uh, net work done on the body. So here it's this force that's going to be doing the net work to reduce the kinetic energy from some non-zero value to zero. So, so you start out with that statement that the magnitude of work done, I'm saying magnitude so I don't have to deal with the negative signs, the magnitude of work done is equal to the change of kinetic energy or the magnitude of change in kinetic energy. So, so this is the expression that you're setting up. Once you have that in mind, then you can write down, okay, my, the magnitude of my work done will be amount of force times the displacement. That's the definition of work, um, with just magnitude, uh, is equal to the change in kinetic energy. It went from this value to zero. So the magnitude of change is one half m v naught squared. So, if you solve for force, the force is going to be one half mv naught squared divided by delta x. So let's plug in the numbers and see. I have one half mass nine forty two. Oops, one half times nine forty two times speed, oh, 81 kilometers per hour. You know what, I don't want to do this in a calculator. Let me do this in a, um, in Wolfram Alpha so that I don't have to convert units. Um, okay, so 0 0.5 times mass, 942 kilogram times uh, the uh, 81 kilometer per hour squared divided by 120 meters. This way I don't have to convert 81 kilometer per hour to miles per sec, uh, meters per sec. Um, so I have 1987 newtons. 1980. And I guess technically it should be negative force and it's in the opposite direction, but I don't think they are looking for the direction of force. So yeah. And if it's in two meters, then it's going to be a more extreme value. Um, of, uh, I guess, 
1.19 times 10 to the power of 5. So yeah, um, so so th this is uh, one of those questions that connects, um, that can be done different ways. And I, I guess there isn't a real advantage in doing it this way, other than that you are practicing what you are learning in chapter two instead of continuing to do what you learned with the kinematics. Um, the the places where you need to use energy and work, it, uh, you know, it's usually in, in Constant force kinematics works fine. It nothing really makes you use uh, makes you use the idea of work and energy. Um, 